You wake up in 2030 and think of your favorite song to get the right mood for the day. Your phone turns it on for you. Mind control has replaced keypads, touchscreens, and voice control. You create a mental invite to your birthday party and send it to your friends. You read it in digital history books that scientists at MIT started working on something similar back in the late 2010s. The idea was to help people with speech disorders. Back then, they had to wear a weird gadget connected to the ear, but now it's all down to a phone. It can bend into any shape. You can wear it as a bracelet whenever you want, transform it into a GPS belt for hiking, or lay it out flat again. You can take it apart, or turn it into a flat screen to watch videos. Your sister has the model that fits right into her ear. She puts it on and it magically disappears. This is one of the trendiest designer phones that adapts to your skin and hair color with a sensor layer. You open a box with old printed photos to decorate the house for the party and find a weird gadget with a wire. Your dad explains it's an old school phone charger. In 2030, phones are always 100% charged and you don't have to plug them in somewhere or put on some mat. Powerful transmitters in different parts of the country charge your phone's nano batteries over the air when you're within their range. They also charge other gadgets and even electric cars quickly and efficiently. When you're outside, your phone also charges from solar power. Because all headphones, data transfer, and charging are wireless now, you don't need any ports on your phone at all. Water can't get in, lint doesn't build inside, pins don't wear out. Your phone doesn't have any weak spots anymore. You're starting to feel classic birthday blues, so your phone plays your favorite funny video. It's your legit best friend and helper. It keeps track of your physical and mental health and offers you some breathing exercises to prevent panic attacks and stress. It opens the front door for you, starts your car from home, and takes you on the fastest route when you oversleep. When you travel, it takes you through gates with your ticket and ID saved on it no need to take it out. The day is just starting, but you already got hundreds of birthday messages. You make your phone switch its OLED display to e-ink one. Old phones with OLED displays were perfect for videos and games, but reading wasn't good for the eyes. Too much light shining in your face. Now phones have both technologies combined, OLED and e-ink used in e-readers. You can choose the display you need at the moment and read books safely. Time to go outside. You're running a marathon today. You split the route with five other members of your team, and you all stay connected through a running app. It feels like a real marathon with background sound effects. You've shown a good result and decide to take a winner photo. Your front-facing camera is now hidden under the display and doesn't take any screen space like in the older phones. The pictures are of perfect quality, thanks to mini sensors that pick up light and a sensitive screen that lets more light through. You ask another runner you met in the park to take a picture of you. He has nine cameras on his phone to choose from. The quality is about the same as the maximum that human eyes can see. That's 576 megapixels. To get the best out of it, you also add a removable camera module. Now your phone is better than any professional camera. And off goes an hour long video of the run. It only took a couple seconds to post it to your social media. The networks went beyond 6G and 7G. Satellite and quantum technologies turned the world into one seamless internet hotspot. Your friends arrive for the party. You show them some childhood photos of you. You stretch the phone from two corners so that everyone can see what's on the screen. You can make it twice as large. Not just the display, but most of its components are now stretchable to make it possible. One of your childhood friends, Lucy, also has some pictures to show. She takes out her phone. Looks like she has a new one, again. It was red yesterday, but now it's purple. Lucy laughs and explains her phone is completely transparent. Its back is made from a material that's kind of like glass and absorbs light completely. That material is almost impossible to break, so the phone will last forever. And you can't leave fingerprints on it. It has LED lights inside. You can choose any color you like for the phone. You can set it to yellow. The back cover absorbs all the light and it looks like it's painted yellow before you even blink. You can also set the phone to change color randomly every day or choose a gradient coloring option. The all glass phone looks seamless and has no edges. It has extra displays you can see through all sides and the back. 
all these surfaces are sensible, so you can control volume or activate airplane mode from any angle. You can also handle notifications on the front side and work with apps on the back side at the same time. Steve has an even cooler phone. It projects screens as a hologram above it. You can also bend it to see the 3D image or video from different angles. You watch a birthday video your friends made for you in the air. Tom has the holographic projector in his wristwatch phone. It projects images onto your palm. You can adjust it to fit your palm size. Time to look at your presents. Mike brought a vintage computer. It's a popular house decoration these days. Phones have completely replaced them. They can do all the same tasks and are portable and easier to use. You can have all the games and apps you want on your phone now. They are all web apps working through your browser and they don't take any space on your phone. The connection is seamless, so they work as fast as apps from the past that you had to install on your phone. Oh, the girls brought you a virtual gift certificate from your favorite designer. You can choose whatever outfit you like and try it on from home with the new 3D face mapping. With artificial intelligence and 3D sensing technology, you can see what you're going to look like in different clothes and with different hairstyles. That red dress looks great on you. It'll be delivered in minutes. 3D face mapping also lets you unlock your phone from a big distance. There's also a surprise gift from your favorite singer. You put on new glasses to see a 3D hologram of him in your living room singing a customized birthday song. Suddenly, the hologram turns into a real person. Everyone screams and tries to deactivate this feature somehow. You try voice and mind control, but it doesn't work. You and all the guests run around the room with your phones aimed at him. Turns out it was a part of the plan. That's a real person and not some bug. You give him some birthday cake and let him go. Apart from that incident, the glasses are super handy. They let you call people and show their name in front of your eyes when they're calling you. They also show your emails to you, give you directions to get to places, and do everything else you use your phone for. If you want to take a picture, you have to frame it with your eyes and say a code word to do it. Some people think the glasses, headsets, and other wearables will take over phones completely. You turn on a TV screen projection to see the news for the day. They say humans are on their way to becoming cyborgs. By 2050, there will be brain-computer interfaces, like mind control, but one step further. There will be no physical screens, microphones, or other gadgets at all. Microchips will be built into clothes and accessories and connected to the brain. Another option is planting them directly under your skin. There will be tiny electrodes in your brain to make that connection possible. You'll even be able to upload and download your thoughts. You'll also hear the voices of your friends in your head, like your thoughts, when they call you and listen to music the same way. Your friends leave, and your phone sets the alarm for you for the next day and plays your favorite lullaby.